and like with the Usyk situation, am I right in saying it was a like he sent you a Facebook message? His team sent you a Facebook message and yeah. it just like flew you over. What? How did yeah, that, it's that's so like random. It, like so weird because again, I was still quite early into my career and stuff. I think I'd only maybe had about five fights, something like that. I wasn't well known. I wasn't with Dylan at that point either. Um, so I wasn't known at all. I was just undercover. I don't know how they came across me or whatever, but they did. And they said, it was weird. I just got like a random Facebook message. And like, cause that had been the first time it had ever happened to me before as well. I didn't know if that was the right process. I, I like, I always thought it was like, when you hear about these big guys going to spy other guys and whatever, I thought it'd be something official, like a, yeah. like a proper email or so-and-so's manager has emailed you to say, would you like to do... And it was literally just an email saying, hi, Fabio, do you want to come to Ukraine for two weeks and spy Usyk? And I was like, what? Like, are you all right? Like, what's yeah. going on? <laughs> so, like, me and my team, we did a bit of, like, checking and digging and yeah. realised that it was a genuine invite and stuff. And we just said, yeah. So, uh, not like a few weeks later, I was in Ukraine on my ones, just sparring with Usyk. How, how was that whole process, like, going over there in a, in a new, almost like a new game, new scenario, new country with new people all by yourself like I know that sounds like such a babyish thing to say but for me like I'm I try to be independent but I do like having my little comforts whether it's to someone I know or at least a country that I know or a place you know mm. what I mean so how was that for you sort of just going over there all by yourself yeah it was again like I said about the black and white thing the way I looked at it was do I do I want to go do I need to go yes Okay, is it going to be weird? Am I on my own? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But none of that matters. None of that matters. You said you want to go, so you're going to go. You're going to do it. Like, and in my head, I, I, I can. I'm thankful to myself that I can do that. I can separate them little, them little things that are like, oh yeah, but you're going to be in Ukraine on your own. You don't know anyone there. You don't speak the language. You, you've never done this before, and you don't know what they're going to think and blah blah blah. I just, I just decided that I wanted to go, regardless. Again, like if I did well, if I did bad cool it doesn't matter I went uh, and I tried it and I got that experience but yeah thankfully it was a great experience a great experience I got there um it was a bit like shifty because I got picked up um I got obviously picked up at the airport there was a guy with a sign of my name and stuff which was like cool like a little life yeah, goal yeah. for me to tick off which was <laughs> funny and um he didn't speak English so he just had his sign and I pointed at him saying like that's me and he went okay come so I just followed him to the car and then it was like some, it was like quite a beat up like van thing that I got into and I just got into the back of the van as well and all the windows oh, are like wow. blacked out. So I was like, right, I'm lonely like black man <laughs> in the middle of Ukraine, just got into the back of a van. Like what's going on here? Like where, yeah. what are we doing? Like what's, what's the crap? Like how is this going to end up? But <laughs> Thankfully, like, I got to the hotel, it was cool, everything was really good, and then it just went from there, really, and then the same guy picked me up, I think, a day later to go to Spiron, and then I met Yusik and the team and everyone, and it was it was happy days from there onwards, we became good friends, so, yeah, it was great, overall, a great experience. Yeah, definitely, and like you said, it's definitely a, a sort of... Uh a good good experience a good thing to tick off but is Usyk as crazy as he as he seems on online like have you seen these messages to to Chisora hey Derek and all stuff like yeah. that like is he that is he sort of <laughs> is he in that mentality and all the time yeah he's genuinely that mental like he is but it's all <laughs> like as you see it and as you, like what you see is what you get with him like he's yeah. still he's very funny he's very jokey he enjoys it but he is like mental at the same time he'll, yeah. he'll piss about and laugh and scream and joke and dance and but he'll get you involved and he'll make sure you're welcome and he'll have a laugh with you and he'll joke around with you and all sorts. We like we did all sorts of stupid stuff while we were there, but just lighthearted and just messing around. Like it's cool. It's 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 a good environment to be in that they just make you feel welcome. You don't feel like, oh, I'm just here to do a job. You do your rounds and then they move you away to the side. Like you're around them, you'll train with them, you'll you'll have the laugh before and you'll have a laugh after and everything. So yeah, they're, they're good. They're good to be around. They're good people.